Now at five, a homicide arrest. Police say a Fort Wayne man is in custody for killing the owner of the Smokehouse Tobacco Outlet on Lafayette Street last week. Good evening. The prosecutor, police, and Crime Stoppers joined together this morning to make the big announcement. Following several tips from the public, police arrested this man, 22-year-old Jamel Coleman. He is being charged with murder, felony murder, and robbery, resulting in serious bodily injury. News Channel 15's Megan Royce has been following the story all day and joins us now from the Smokehouse outlet. Megan. Well, Mark and Heather standing outside the tobacco store. It's easy to see the love that people had and still have for Antonio Nino. And police say it's that love and determination to help lead them to the man who they arrested, who they believe is responsible for Nino's death. And Nino's family is beyond thankful for the outpouring of tips. This was a homicide that was very public, very brutal, and uh, uh, the community was uh, very upset. Antonio Nino was left to die here in his business on Lafayette Street only after he put up a fight. This man, Jamel Coleman, says he was smoking marijuana and spice and was waiting to rob Nino as he opened a store that morning. Coleman said he had a gun to scare Nino and just wanted the money out of his wallet. Nino tried to get the gun from him and they struggled all the way through the store. He had Nino get on the ground so he could use duct tape to tie up his hands. At some point during the struggle, Coleman got a hold of Nino's gun and used that gun to shoot him because his own gun was broken and did not work. It's these photos and a vigilant community that are helping Nino's family find justice and cope with his death. Being able to have uh, some surveillance photos to put out was really what turned that tide and initially got got the media to put that out and people to call in. Some information coming from Coleman's wife and a friend. But it was an anonymous tip that led police right to Coleman in Indianapolis. Yesterday I received a phone call uh, telling me that uh, he was on a Greyhound bus en route to Indianapolis. The unit was waiting for him as he exited the bus. He was at that point taken into custody by the Indianapolis Police Department. Coleman admitted to shooting Nino and running off with his wallet and gun, all of which he says he threw into the river by the old fort. He says he ditched his red hat and clothes in the dumpster here at Eden Green Apartments. Coleman told police if he wouldn't have been able to rob Nino here at the tobacco store, he would have walked across the parking lot and robbed whoever was in the Treasure House thrift store at the time. I spoke with the manager and employees at the Treasure House thrift store this afternoon. They were shaken by the details released today and didn't want to go on camera. But they do consider Antonio Nino their angel and say he protected them. Coleman was in court earlier today and he is scheduled to go back in for his hearing on Tuesday. Reporting live on Lafayette Street, Megan Royst, News Channel 15.